Okay, so this is where we're headed next. We just came out of the Westmont mine, which is right over there by the creek. And across the valley, you can see the workings from the Enterprise mine. Uh, there's the upper workings. And uh, just below the upper workings, there's some lower workings there. And just below that, there's uh, some more workings over here. So we're going to head across the creek, coming back. There's a view of the whole site. And uh, we're going to go across. There's supposed to be eight levels at this mine, so it should be, uh, if we can get in, it should be a decent explore. So that's where we're headed next. So we hiked across the scree pile with the tailings pile. You can see where the other guys are hiking across down here and there's a bunch of debris, mining debris, or cart bits, or cart track bits, all kinds of wood and, and then uh, around the corner, once we get around the corner there's supposedly another attic and another tailings pile and a, and a building. So we're going to uh, keep walking through here and check it out. You can kind of see the building through the trees. So we're going to go over there and check it out. Okay, while we were hiking to the lower at it at the Westmont mine, or sorry, at the Enterprise mine, we uh, came across this old drill, and that would have been in the, the one at the end that was in the rock when they were drilling to make the blast holes. Very neat find. And we're going to keep hiking through the trees. out onto the tailings pile and there's the old building. Looks like a door dump from here anyway. Is it remnants of the tram? Oh yeah, there's a tram tower standing there. So that was probably the ore dump. And, uh, and there's the uh, from the top of the ore dump. Let's zoom in a little bit here. You can uh, see the tram towers. This one right there. There's a smaller one off to the left. And there's another one out at the end of the tailings pile. And uh, they would have trammed the ore from the bin down to the valley floor to maybe, I don't know if there was a train coming through here at one time or if they packed it out on mule or what they did. And uh, so we'll go explore around and see if we can find the attic. Very neat to see the tram tower still standing. So in the, uh, in the bush here on the lower level of the Enterprise mine, there's an old ore cart. It's one of the older style ones with the hand riveted top and that on it. No wheels or bottom on it. Very neat find. This is the old winding road that continued up here. And uh, it looks like the added is uh, sealed. The entrance is sealed and won't be able to get in. There's some old wood and stuff in the, in the bushes here, but it doesn't look like anything is accessible. It's all been caved it. Looks like that was the entrance back there. No getting in, unfortunately. Because it would have come out from either right there or maybe it was, oh, uh, maybe the entrance was here. Oh, yeah, the entrance would have been here. In the hill here. But it's uh, permanently eroded shut. Unfortunately, no one will ever get to see what was in there. Or carts would have come out here and probably gone on a platform out across to the orb bin, dumped it, and then the tram would have taken it down to the valley. So I guess that's, uh, that's it from the Enterprise mine.
around in the, hiked around in the bush a little bit here, and we uh, scurried up this little hill, and behind us on the hill there's a, a portal that we're going to try to climb in here at the Enterprise Mine. It's kind of like a mid-level portal, so we're going to see if we can uh, squeak in. Okay, so we're inside the portal. There's a lot of cold air blowing out. Um, it kind of goes into an immediate stope up, and uh, we're going to make our way up and over, panning back out. Now we the portal we climbed in, and uh, we're going to make our way up and over this scree pot, and apparently the tunnel continues on the other side, so we'll pick it up on the other side. Okay, so we're hiking up over this scree pile. Or pile at the bottom of the stope that's looking up into the stope. That's the tunnel that we came from. We're headed down around this and uh, there's looking up in the stope we're headed down and the tunnel continues that way and that's where we're headed. Okay. All right. So we climbed over that rubble pile down onto the floor and uh, you can see the rats nests made their nests up in the wall. And there's one large rat's nest on the floor here. We're uh, making our way past it, past the supports. And uh, there's an ore chute with a ladder. And this is looking up. It goes up into a stope. Or it could have been just an ore path. So we're going to make our way past this, uh, <laughs> scramble past this chute here, and continue on the other side. Okay, alright, so we made our way past the ore chute, and off to the right here there's a little dead end with an alcove, or a little dead end alcove. And uh, the main haulage tunnel continues this way, and uh, we'll continue down there with the main haulage tunnel for a while. See where it goes. So this is the middle, one of the middle levels from the Enterprise Mine, one of the biggest mines in the area. So we're hoping to get to maybe access to the lower or higher levels from here. So we'll uh, continue on down the tunnel and see what we find. Okay, continuing our way down the main tunnel, in the middle added at the Enterprise Mine. We've got some old drill bits in the wall here. And uh, just around here, you can see the seam they were chasing there. And uh, there's an old boiler or something. And uh, the boys are having a shit fit up ahead because somebody touched a wire and thought it was a bat. So we have another R sheet. I was looking at the ore sheet. I don't like rats, but when he was like three feet from me, I'm like, I don't know. I'm sure he's going to run away from me, but I just don't And the main tunnel continues this way. There's another ore sheet. He screamed louder than I did. Thank you. Oh, a lot of chatter up ahead. Okay, so then it's further along. Oh. I think I wasn't in the mood. A little bit of uh, stuff came down from the shaft up above here. You can see the ore pass leading up into the other levels. It looks like there might have been a stope up there. And they would have dropped the ore down to uh, the ore carts waiting underneath here. I'm going to make my way past this and the uh, main haulage channel continues this way. So we'll uh, keep making our way forward. So we just passed that ore chute down there. And now there's a little workstation here, a little uh, kind of a makeshift workbench, some timbers, and then uh, climbing around here, there's a third ore chute. Much wetter than the other one. And, uh, it's completely plugged, so I'm not going to stand underneath it. And we got a wet spot. Yeah. I will give you the link and all that you've brought and 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 you've brought
make our way back out. So that's it for the middle level of the Enterprise model. Okay, so where we thought was a confirmed end, they dug a little bit out here, and then you can see they stoped up here. So I'm sure there would have been ladders here at one time. And that goes up, but it's way too steep to climb. And uh, that's looking back at the tunnel with the ore chutes. Just climbed up this debris pile. And uh, yeah, so it's not an actual end, but it's an end for us because it, we can't get up any higher. So that's it for this level of the Enterprise Mine. So we're just exiting the Enterprise Mine and we found a uh, little friend deep inside the Enterprise Mine. Say hi to everybody. Now we're just making our way out. The water all over my lens, that's why my picture sucked. He is the, uh, the owner of this proud home here. Quite the, uh, quite the building. There he is. He's probably not too happy with us right now. No. Well, we'll keep moving and uh, let him be. Maybe I'll scare Mike. Yeah. That'd be cute. Still see his ears there. And uh, that's it from the Enterprise, Brian.